How's it going guys? So I got a pretty explosive response when I asked you all if you wanted me to learn how and teach you to make this fiberglass reinforced PVC recurve bow that a subscriber sent to me in an episode of Alpha Male a while back. So I hopped on the computer, did a whole bunch of research, and I still don't really know how to make it. There was like one video about something kind of similar, but it like wasn't that good. Uh, so I figure I'm a building type of guy. I've been known to put together an art and craft or two in my day. Uh, so today is uh, largely just gonna be sort of an experiment to see if I can come up with something that will shoot at least as good, but maybe even a little better than this one that I got sent uh, a while ago. Now disclaimer, this ain't your grandma's PVC bow. It's gonna be a little more in depth than just the straight PVC pipe with fiberglass rods jammed up into it. But if it shoots as good as this one, what you gonna say about it, hmm? What you gonna do? That's what I thought. So anyways, hope you guys like it. I hope it works. Um, here you go. So I've got no idea what I'm gonna end up needing for this, but what I can think of needing right now is a couple of 48 inch fiberglass driveway markers, some five foot lengths of PVC at one inch, three quarter inch, and half inch, and then also a two by four that is five feet long. So I'm gonna mark the half inch PVC at six inches, and then the three quarter inch PVC at one foot, and then I'm gonna cut both pieces. Now I'm gonna take this cardboard box and cut here, 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 and here. I'm gonna strengthen it with a little glue. Then I cut an Illuminati out of here and then we're going to line the inside of it with some aluminum foil, shiny side out. So what we have here is a little heat reflector half oven type of thing. Shout out to my backyard home boyer. So what we do is we put the PVC into here and then we just run the heat gun back and forth across it while we rotate the PVC like a little white hot dog. This thing's not completely necessary, but it will just help to make sure that the PVC is heated up evenly. So what I'm gonna do is heat up nine inches of the 12 inch long piece of three quarter inch PVC. And then once that's pliable, I'm going to take that six inch piece of half inch PVC, get it in as far as I can with my hand. And then I'm going to take another piece of half inch PVC with a mark at three inches and use that to push it all the way down to the direct center of this pipe. All right, the part that I heated up actually shrunk an inch, so after I put that pipe in three inches, there was only two inches left over here. So all I did was clip off an inch from this end of the pipe, so now this is 10 inches, just factor that into the rest of your measurements. So now we find the center of our markers, and then we go five inches to the side. And you can go on both sides if you want. So now when we slide this pipe on, this will be the direct center. Now I'm gonna cut the one inch PVC directly in half. So now I'm gonna heat up three inches of the end of both halves of the one inch PVC and then I'm going to slide them over the markers and onto the three quarter inch PVC. Now I'm gonna use some PVC primer and cement to attach the limbs to the handle.
And here's where that two by four comes in. I've glued a couple of inch and a quarter long legs onto this end of the two by four. And then I've got this weight sitting on the bow just to hold it in place. And then you don't actually need a two by four under here. Uh, you can use a board or whatever, or if the ground that you have in your house or your garage or whatever is completely flat, then you can just put it on the ground. Uh, but I'm just using this because I know that the ground here in the garage is not totally flat. So what I'm gonna do is take my heat gun and heat up this entire part of the bow. Uh, excluding this three inch section right here. And then once this part is soft, I'm gonna use the two by four with the legs, squish it onto here to get a nice even taper all the way to the end. All right, I brought this over to Dan's house because me and him are working on some other stuff too. But all we got to do now is we're going to use this round baking tray to put a curve on the end of our recurve bow. I'm going to mark it at eight inches. I'm going to use my handy dandy heat gun to heat this up and then you'll see what we do from there. Now with the curves in, we're gonna cut some shapes a little like this. All right, and here it is. Now we're gonna go head to head. I'm gonna use the subscriber recurve bow. He's gonna use the one that I just made. See which one wins. All right, Dan is gonna shoot for the top one. I'll shoot for the bottom one. <laughs> what? I don't seem to remember Dan standing on the power lines and shooting down. I hope that's not a problem with the bow. I hope it's just a problem with Dan. Maybe you can check the camera and see who actually shot first. Because if you hit first, I can see you hit in the box back. In the oh. Box. But that's if you shot first. If I shot first, then it's who the hell can It went into the top of my freakishly short thumb. Let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> 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 Let's trade bows real quick. Alright, I've got the bow that I made now and Dan has the subscriber bow. I'm shooting for the bottom again, he's shooting for the top. Man, that arrow just goes in at such a weird angle. The amount of penetration is almost identical on the two bows, but the weird thing is my bow still has a much higher draw weight than this one, which means that this one is shooting as powerfully as that one with a lower draw weight. 
so I'm not so sure that I have yet succeeded in my quest to make a bow that's as good as that reefer bow. Alright, so as far as bows go, I wouldn't necessarily call this one a failure because it is still a pretty good bow, but my uh, test was supposed to be to see if I could make a bow that's as good or better than this one. And being that they shoot uh, with the same power, even though this one has a higher draw weight, I would say that this is still not as good as this one. So there is my first attempt at it. There's definitely going to be a lot more to come. Well, hopefully not a lot more to come. Uh, but that was my amateur attempt. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And in case at any point you noticed all this watermelon all over the ground, that was the result of the testing of this sweet canabo that Dan made. If you want to see that video, go ahead and either click right here or if you're on mobile, just check the description and I'll link to that video. But that's all I got for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.